Hello guys, welcome to Acquired Knowledge. This is your Monish Mustazir. In this today's session, we are talking about the continuation part of reproduction in organisms. That is nothing but the concept which was mentioned in your NCIT, that is a terror of a banger. So what is the meaning of the terror of a banger? So the, one of the beautiful story behind the plant called as the water hyacinth. Botanically, we are known as the Icornia crassipis. So this plant was the first, this plant was brought from the some other country and introduced first in the Bengal region because of some of the interesting characteristics and which was, which was very most attractive to the people. For that reason, this plant was introduced and why they are given the later on was the name terror of Bengal. Terror means nothing but that it's a trouble means. It means trouble. It is giving or the trouble plant, we are, even we can also say as the trouble plant. So even it is the trouble plant, why they are going to be introduced into the Bengal region? This is the interesting story that this plant, firstly this plant is very beautiful and it was it, it was looks, looks like a very attractive to the people. For that reason, first this plant was brought from the, some other country and introduced into the Bengal region. So what kind of the trouble it will going to be made? So entire each and everything will going to be discussed in this concept. The first and the most important thing, the two most, very most interesting characteristics, those are nothing but the, this plant is having a very beautiful and the attractive leaves. So the leaves are, which are, leaves are not be present like the, the common plants. The common plants, they are having the, the very flat surface area of the leaf. But in this case, the leaves are having the, a uh, slightly curved back into the leaves. So because of their, the curve, uh, back curveness, this plant is, look like the very beautiful. And the second one is that this plant is having the very beautiful flowers. The flower color is having the very pink to the violet in color. The various colors are there. But again, it is a very most attractive and the beautiful flowers this plant is having. Because of these two main reasons, firstly, this plant was brought from the, some other country and introduced into the Bengal region. Because of its very vast and the very fast kind of the reproductive growth, this plant was going to be made as the terror or this plant was made, made as the trouble to the, the introduced ecosystem. Suppose if you are introduced into the pond ecosystem, it is very, the reproduction growth is the very fast and very fastly it will going to be spread and occupy the entire water body and this plant will going to become a dominant one. So for that reason, the name was given as the terror. So first and the most important thing in the last session, we have talked about the, the shape of the leaves. Is it right? In the last session, we have discussed about the, the reproduction in this one. That is nothing but the Icarnia crossepis. That is nothing but water hyacinth. The half set, the vegetative propagation, we are talking about it. So, these plants are having the very beautiful uh, leaf. The curled back leaf are the, the curly leaves. And these plants are having the, the flower color. It is pink to violet in color pink to violet in color so just because of its beautiful leaves and the beautiful flowers this plant was first introduced into the the bengal region and later onwards it become the the terror of bengal so the first and the most important thing the ncrt they are mentioned that this plant the water hyacinth are made the scourge of water body again the scourge means nothing but the ncrt they are mentioned the term as the scourge is nothing but again it's a trouble so this water hyacinth, I, I already told that this water hyacinth will always going to be make trouble to the water body. So in the water body, the different kind of the organisms, the different kind of the species are there. It, even it may be the fishes or small uh, tadpoles, even the small insects and even the phytoplankton, some other zooplankton are very different kind of the organisms are there. For those each and every organisms, this plant will going to be make the trouble. What kind of the trouble they are going to be make? So entire thing will going to be discussed in this one. So the second one, the most important thing, this water hyacinth is also known as the, the king of the weed. The weed, again, it's nothing but a, a plant that, it is a weed one. It's again not a, a, any food products. It's again weed one, it is also known as the king of weed. Why? Because, because of its efficiency of the reproduction. The vegetative propagation of this plant is the very fast. If you are going to be introducing a small plant, a single plant into the, uh, a pond or the pond ecosystem, Within a short time period, this plant will going to be completely occupy the entire water body. So because of that, this weed is known as the, because of its efficiency of the reproduction, this plant is known as the king of the weed. And it again grows always in the 
standing water this is very most important thing this plant will never go it, it will never it will never used to grow in the running water like the rivers or the samudra it is always used to grow in the standing water like the ponds or the lakes so because it's a it's a one of the a kind of the weed it is always used to grow in the standing water like the ponds or lakes even some other dirty waters if there is a standing water is there any some other uh, in any places it is it will always used to grow at that place and its reproduction is the very fast and very soon within the short period of time it will going to cover entire entire area of the ecosystem where it is living so for that reason later on it will become as the terror of the bengal and the second one is nothing but the reproduction through the vegetative propagation of course this plant is always going to reproduce reproduce through the vegetative propagation asexual kind of the reproduction is present in most of the plants we are going to be use the term as the vegetative propagation in case of the plants that is through the offsets at the particular position at the center this is the a position it's we are called as the offset at this position the the connection between the two plants will going to break and the two individual plants will become as the two new individual species so this is because of the presence of vegetative propagation in the offset and the very fast kind of the reproduction this plant was become as the terror of a bengal so simply they are not given the the term as the terror, terror of a bengal is there a important reason behind this we'll talk about the two more important reasons the first and the most important thing this plant need the more oxygen for the oxidizing the substrate this is very most important thing this water hyacinth is needed the more oxygen for oxidizing the substrate for each and every organisms to break down the food materials they have to undergo the process of the oxidation is it right for the, for example the, if the glucose is consuming that again glucose is not in the usable form so glucose should be get converted into atp molecules those are nothing but the energy molecules we are talk, we are going to talk in coming videos about that and this and most important thing this plant need the more oxygen for the oxidizing the substrate for make for digesting the food material or to break the food material to oxidize the process this plant is needed the the more and more number of the oxygen so for that reason it will going to uh, drain the entire oxygen molecules which is present in the ecosystem for example it's, which is present in the ponds or the lakes means the entire oxygen will going to consumed by this plant so for that reason this is a very selfish plant we can able to say and the second one is other species do not survive due to lack of dissolved oxygen this is very most important thing so this plant will going to completely drain the oxygen from the ecosystem where it is present like the pond or the lake ecosystem means it will going to completely drain the oxygen molecules it will uh, not leave some a few amount of the mole uh, oxygen molecules to the other species so even if the, the in within the same water body the presence of the the fishes or the some other organisms will going to suffer from the lack of dissolved oxygen due to lack of dissolved oxygen those species or those organisms which are unable to survive at their position those organisms will going to completely vanishes out from the that kind of the water body this is the major reason why this plant was get the name as the terror of bengal what's that this will going to completely drain the oxygen it is needed more oxygen for the oxidizing the substrate for that reason it is completely drain the oxygen from the water body for that reason the other species which are unable to survive in the water body like the even your fishes or even the zooplanktons so many other organisms which are unable to survive at the water body and the second one is the lack of sunlight in the phytoplankton this is the second most important reason for example this is a pond ecosystem again we are introduced a single plant into this pond ecosystem means or this water body means what happens this water hyacinth has ability to reproduce very fastly through the again offset vegetative propagation through the offset it is completely cover the surface area or completely cover the surface area of this water body within the very short time period this plant due to their efficiency of the reproduction it will going to completely cover the entire surface area of this water body so due to that what happens the sunlight the fall on the sunlight on this water body which is unable to reach at the up to the bottom of the water body so in the bottom of each and every ecosystem of the water body there are some 
phytoplanktons are there. So these phytoplanktons which are unable to get sunlight means what happens? These phytoplanktons which are unable to photosynthesis, again there is no photosynthesis means these organisms which are unable to survive. Some other organisms like the even fishes, some other insects which are surviving in the same ecosystem even which are also unable to survive within this water body. So these phytoplankton, species, some other organisms which will going to vanishes out from this water body just because of the introduction of the water hyacinth. This is the first thing which was happened in the Bengal region. First, Bengal region they are introduced just because of their beautiful leaves and the flower into the water body. So later onwards what they are observed, they are going to be observed that a very bad kind of the smell was coming at the the same water body just because of the many other organisms like the fishes, uh, phytoplankton, some other organisms, yeah, each and every organisms they are going to lead for the death just because of the lack of oxygen, lack of sunlight, just because of just increasing in the population of the water hyacinth. This is the major reason that due to lack of sunlight even phytoplankton which are also unable to survive at the water body. And this is always work as the invasive species. In Kannada, the Lirantha Karthi, the Akramana Kari, the Karthi. In other words, once it will going to introduce it, it, it will start to Akarthi or occupy the completely area of any water body. Yavde, when the water body will introduce it, for example, one sand plant in our in the water body, complete area of the water body, in the Karthi, water ecosystem, complete area of the plant in the Akupai, in the water body, 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 used to give the trouble. Each and every organisms which are unable to survive in the same water body just because of this the term was given or the name was given this plant as the terror of Bengal. So, so guys definitely if you got the beneficial this video kindly subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. We are going to come again with the new interesting topics on the next video. Thank you guys.